alarming warning this week about artificial intelligence from some of the world's top minds on the matter. Dozens of industry leaders and researchers warn that there's a risk of human extinction if AI is left unchecked. So we wanted to dig into that, the good and the bad of AI. And joining us to, t to do that is Dr. Manjeet Rege. He is the chair of the Department of Software Engineering and Data Science at the University of St. Thomas. Okay. Thank you for coming on because sure. what do you make of this headline? It's pretty alarming. I know. So the statement that came out from the Center for AI Safety, frankly, is a little bit over the top. It talks about uh, the doomsday scenario that can happen down the line if AI is not regulated. So we need to have some oversight. Um, so that is what that statement primarily talks about. Mm -hmm. But currently, the state of the art AI, we are not there yet. But there are cer certain concerns out there in the short term. Mm -hmm. Is the concern that it's, we know it's developing, that it's going to develop suddenly at a rapid pace? It feels like we've, we've had AI, but suddenly it's getting a little bit more advanced than we were expecting faster? Right, so like if you look at the last 20 years, I like to think about AI in three different stages in modern AI. Prior to 2012, you know, AI worked really well with transactional data. Mm -hmm. You know, it used to customize things for us when you go to Amazon or Netflix. In 2012, there was a big change where AI researchers noticed that you can analyze unstructured data like image, uh, text, mm -hmm. audio. And, but uh, until the end of last year, one thing that humans were better than AI was to generate content. Mm -hmm. And that has changed now. Mm. So there is this fear that we had that one edge over AI, and then probably we might lose that in case uh, in, we do not uh, probably control that. Mm -hmm. Are there any ways that AI um, is being used for good, places where you see advancements that are really helpful? Absolutely, right? So AI has become so powerful that it can both uh, benefit as well as harm the society. So when you look at uh, the medical discoveries, you know, in terms of diagnosis, drug discoveries, improved healthcare, uh, in improved customer service, so those are the places where we see benefits. But then in terms of places where it can harm, uh, you know, deep fakes, for example, we all go to the World Wide Web to gather information, but if this is not regulated, we might go there and we might notice uh, text that is not correct, we might notice uh, image that may not be correct, and uh, we don't want to be in a situation where we have to figure out what is correct and what is not correct. I think that's what's making people feel uncomfortable when they don't know that it's, exactly. it's generated by a computer, essentially. Right, right. You said what is correct and not correct. I feel like that brings in the word ethics. Yes. And how that fits into this. Mm -hmm. Are we are we letting it get too far? How do we keep things checked? What would you say? Yes. So I believe that you know there should not be like a complete pause on AI research. Uh, there needs to be freedom in terms of what uh, you can develop uh, uh, with AI, but there needs to be regulation when you deploy it. So there needs to be freedom in terms of research and development so that we can do advancement in a number of other fields. But when you deploy it, uh, you need to have some kind of an oversight for it. Mm -hmm. My last question before we let you go is how do you think it's going to impact the workforce long term? I think a lot of people are worried about job yeah, security that's with a, this. Yeah, that's a great question. So for a long time, you know, we have talked about impact of AI on blue collar jobs. But now with the generative AI, there is a potential that uh, it, uh, this will also impact white collar jobs. So that is an upcoming fear as well. All right, a lot to uh, consider. Thank you so much for coming and decoding sure. some of this Thank for you. us. We appreciate it.